as you take a few steps, you sense eyes, eyes, eyes observing you move. You need to be more careful, for by the train, you are not safe. You have a target wrapped along your face. You carry these sentiments as you take your usual place. Right against the wall, feet wide apart and away from the yellow line. Alert at all times, trying your best to stay calm and minding that gap. You avoid eye contacts at all costs, but in that unfortunate event, you smile. Even when you see the ferocity in his eyes, the rage, morbid spirit, dead eyes, you smile big, you smile hard, and you morph into the blondie next door. For the blondie next door doesn't get pushed onto the tracks, but people like you do. As I figured, he's not impressed. He shouts inaudible words at you. I can't quite make them out. You tense up, searching for somewhere to move, but you're blocked on all sides. You pace back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, feet trotting the ground. Ayatul Kursi doesn't leave your mouth aloud, but is read firmly in your heart. His dark aura succumbs you. Sweat pours open, hands clammed, face stunned. Soul tears up, eye to eye with conducive mortality. Your heart rattles loud, and you can't control it. I hear your heartbeat as the man approaches. 